Hi everybody, welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed an automated system to help you win big every time. Doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. So we're getting into some NBA action now as the season is underway, but before we do, I want to invite you to join. You'll have access to the VIP club section. Again, it has all of these tabs here across the top with tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so we have five games in the NBA. For October 27th, then we are going to get started and take a look at all of them. We've got the Philadelphia 76ers at the Indiana Pacers. The 76ers are coming off of an opening day loss uh, against the Bucks, And the big thing with them is they're without their top two players, Joel Embiid and Paul George at the moment. So that's really going to hinder them. Uh, they're ice cold down. Indiana is coming in burning hot with a opening day win um, against Detroit. The score prediction is Indiana 123, Philadelphia 101. The confidence in the prediction is at 69%. If you notice the over under, the Sixers were involved in the game over the line in the opener, while the Pacers were involved in their game under the line. On the power ranks indicator, Indiana has a huge advantage there at the moment at plus 22 compared to plus 2. If we take a look at uh, the head to head matchups last season, it was Indiana winning two out of three, and they were, won their only game at home by 12, and they were one and one in Philadelphia. So in the end here, I think this is going to be a pretty easy pick for the Pacers because the Sixers are still going to be without their big guns. And I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. So the Pacers and over the line. Milwaukee and uh, Brooklyn, of course, we just talked about Milwaukee as they beat Philadelphia in the first game. They're coming in ice cold up. And the Nets are dead status uh, after losing the first game by four against Atlanta. Uh, the score prediction is 113-103. to 103. Brooklyn... Confidence in the prediction is at 69%. Both teams played in games over the line in the opener. The power ranks indicator shows Milwaukee at plus 17. Brooklyn coming in at plus 4. Uh, just a, a little thing to say here about these opening week games. There's not going to be a whole lot to say as far as like trends and everything because the season has just started. That will be more in effect as we move along more into the season. Right now it's uh, going to be some basic things to make the picks. Um, the head-to-head -head matchups for last season, you can see that it was in three games that were played. Milwaukee won all three, including two in Brooklyn. And all the games except for the last one were really high-scoring contests. So I like uh, the Bucks in this one. And again, any game over the line. We got the Pelicans and the Portland Trailblazers. The Pelicans won their first game. Uh, they are ice cold up. They won by 12 over Chicago, while Portland lost the first game in a, an embarrassing blowout, 140-104 to 104 at home against Golden State. Uh, both teams were involved in games over the line. The prediction is for Portland to bounce back with a two-point win, 110-108 confidence, and the prediction is at 66%. The power ranks indicator shows New Orleans at the top at plus 25. Not a surprise, Portland starts the year at the bottom. At uh, zero, they had the worst the scoring difference in the league in the first game of the season. Um, head to head wise, last year you can see there were three games played, New Orleans winning all three of them, including two in Portland. And none of the games were really that high scoring. The second one was a bit high scoring at 233. But I'm going to pass in the over under bet on this one, but I am going to go with the Pelicans, and New Orleans will win to uh, drop Portland to 0 and 2. Now we've got the Atlanta Hawks and the Oklahoma City Thunder. Oklahoma City's coming in burning hot. They had an impressive 102-87 win over Denver in Denver. So that was a really nice win to open up the season. Atlanta, again, they came up with the win against Brooklyn. So they're both 1-0. and um, As far as the over-under goes, Atlanta's game was over the line. Oklahoma City's was under the line. There is no score prediction yet because the odds of the game are currently unavailable. Again, it says once posted, we will generate a prediction. So come back probably, uh, you know, before game time and check that out. As far as the power ranks indicator, Oklahoma City with their win, they're up at plus 19. Even though Atlanta won, they actually dropped some there at plus 16. Head-to-head -head wise, the teams played on October 17th. Uh, that was an exhibition game, and Oklahoma City won by five. 
Last season, in the regular season, Oklahoma City won one, and Atlanta won one, both winning at home. And the second game was a very high-scoring contest, and the first one was rather high-scoring as well. Uh, but both teams, actually, they were over and under, opposite sides of the line in the opening day game. I like the Thunder at home. Um, I think it's going to be a higher-scoring game again. So let's go with the Thunder and over the line. The last game on tap is the Clippers and the Warriors. This is the game of the day in the Pacific Division. Uh, Golden State comes in burning hot with that 36-point win. The Clippers had a tough loss at home in overtime to Phoenix, 116-113. to 113. Both teams were involved in games over the line. The score prediction is for Golden State by 22 points, 125 to 103. I don't think it's going to be that high of a margin, but the confidence is very high at 93%. The power ranks indicator, you can see Golden State on the upward trend at 29. And that first loss dropped the Clippers off the map pretty much from plus 25 all the way down to plus 12. Head-to-head -head wise, you can see there's an uh, exhibition game with Golden State winning, but take that with a grain of salt. But during the regular season last year, you can see there was four games played with the Clippers winning three out of the four and going 2-0 and oh at home. So it was 1-1 one and one on the road. Um, <clears throat> so I think this is going to be a Golden State win. I like them at home. I don't think that the Clippers are going to win this, but I think it's going to be a lot closer than the 22-point uh, uh, score prediction. But I think it's going to be a really good game to watch. So I like Golden State at home. High-scoring affair. So Golden State and over the line. Okay, there you have it. Those are the games for the NBA. Happy betting and see you again next time.